So hi, it's Richard. So, it's been a while. I've just got back from trying to video something for my other channel, Cross Axle. And yeah, it didn't go quite well. And it kind of reminded me of something that I've been trying to do for I guess the last three months and that is make some more videos for my channel as you can probably tell in December I had a bit of an illness and I'm still not 100% over it and that is just crazy it's taken so long to get over this cold flu whatever it is and I've had time in bed and uh, yeah still got nasally congestion but anyway so yeah, um, just recently I've been failing a lot and that's kind of like something I wanted to talk about. If people were tuning in for some uh, camera updates, sorry there's going to be one soon. Um, one of the videos I'm trying to do is on this which is the uh, GoPro Hero 7. So tune into the next one and hopefully I'll have a review on this. But this is going to be a bit about failure and personal conflict, personal discovery, I guess. <clears throat> so yeah, just recently I've been trying to get out and do some more videos and it's been to a bit of a lost cause. Um, I've come back with part videos and things that I think are crap so I wanted to kind of start again and again while I've been ill over December I've kind of been thinking about why this is and why it bothers me so much and part of me thinks it's down to YouTube and before all of you start going like, oh, we watch your channel and you watch other channels and yeah. As I mentioned before, this channel was supposed to be for me to retract, uh, to retract, to attract my progress in photography and life and various things. So I can look back, see my learning and what I've been doing and things that I can probably progress from. But just recently I've been having, um, masses of self-doubt and also I think previously what I mentioned was I haven't got a TV so I watch YouTube as my TV and yeah it kind of doesn't help um, and it started out in photography and then just recently I've noticed it trying to do the stuff for the um, car channel and Again, it comes down to self-doubt, but also there's a lot of channels out there that are telling you you're not doing it right, you must do it this way, and think about this, and don't do that, and, and that got me thinking. You see, as children, we know nothing, and as we get older, we have all these rules and regulations imposed on us. So as children, we are creative, we play with sand, dirt, Lego, and we come up with some amazing things and our mind is free to wander. And so with YouTube, because you get in all these videos, this visual input, this visual stimulus of like, you know you can't do it this way and you should be doing it this way and there's people out there that have got very little experience but they seem to be the fountain of knowledge <laughs> you know it's like you, you've got someone who's like got a couple of years experience in photography and they're telling you how to shoot and this is where my kind of creative rut I guess and visual blocks have come from and 
so to put it into context, when I first started photography, I knew nothing. I didn't understand composition, I didn't know understand about depth of field, aperture, shutter speed or anything. I didn't understand about, you know, inverse square law and various technical terms that hinder me now. Um, so when I first learned, well not when I first learned, when I first got into photography, I would just shoot what I pleased. Something that interested me, I would go off and discover it and shoot it. I got into doing portraits and model work and I was just going along and really enjoying what I was doing. Wasn't even thinking about composition, about anything, I was just thinking about what I saw in my mind's eye and how to capture it to the best of my ability. Then forward on watching a bit of YouTube and you start getting um, all the rules being thrown at you and so that's then when things start to go kind of bad. Well not bad as such but because you now have these sets of rules and people telling you you know you can't do this or this is a film channel and I also shoot digital for the um, car channels so just recently I've been doing a lot more video and uh, digital photos and there's people out there saying oh that's not true photography true photography is film photography and you must go in the dark room and make prints and and then, then people saying you must print your work and being online and on whatever isn't true photography and if the masters you know they shot on their Hasselblad or on their, you know, Leica, um, and after a while it kind of gets to you because you're not thinking you're doing it right, or you you start to think that you're not doing it right. You start to think that your work isn't good enough, and again, this has crept in just recently in my car channel, in the fact that I want to make it better, and I want to do the best cinematography but unfortunately my kit doesn't allow it and my skill doesn't allow it so by watching these channels and they're going you know and you see in all these beautiful cinematography and Peter McKinnon's going you know you know this is how you do it and then there's all these channels saying you know you're not doing it right and you're getting it wrong and and it's like you then or I personally start to feel that my work isn't good enough and instead of the message coming out and instead of me just doing it I'm hindered by does it look beautiful, is it sound okay, am I getting enough b-roll in there to make it interesting for people rather than just this talking to the camera and telling how I feel and so I need to go back to basics I need to basically do stuff that is just me, what I want to do, what I want to shoot, not care about the rules, not care about great cinematography, and if this bothers you then I understand not watching my channel, but I need to be, or I need to find that creative juice or creative flow that I once had. Again, I don't know if it's the breakup of a relationship with Sarah, but since then, to be honest, I've lost passion, and that is kind of hard as well. Um, I used to see, I used to have a vision, and I used to see things, and it used to speak to me. Like when I edit photos, the, it used to tell me whether it needed to be black and white colour, and the way that the image should should look, and as much as I don't know enough about editing videos it started to bother me editing videos because I haven't got enough b-roll or I haven't shot the stuff that I think looks good and I'm, I'm more conscious about my footage and I'm conscious about I haven't given the right information and I'm conscious about me not coming across as um, bubbly enough because um, I'm not that sort of person to be jumping and shouting and waving hands and, and saying like look at me and you know I'm more of a person that enjoys being behind the camera so yeah 
this is where I'm at and I need to forget about all of the rules all of the stuff that other channels look like and the cinematography and the beautiful b-roll and be back to me being raw being vulnerable um, yeah and kind of like just doing stuff because I want to and putting that out into the world um, because that is me so I've been learning Tai Chi as well as my training but my training as you can probably see has taken a bit of a back seat because of uh, being ill so that is something that I'm trying to get back into um, I don't do the strongman stuff at the moment but hopefully in the next week or two I will get back into it but um, <laughs> so for the last few weeks or the last few months should I say I've been trying to do videos I've been going out trying to do more than t more than you like one thing at a time and I think that again is something that I need to stop um, I've been trying to do a video as I say on this the GoPro Hero 7 black um, and I tried to do a review on the car and review on the GoPro at the same time unfortunately only having one battery it didn't last very long so I got half of each and that annoyed me so and subsequently I've had a bit of a shave so I couldn't jump in footage from you know what I mean the timeline looked different because I look different um, so continuity errors <laughs> but anyway yeah so coming up I've got um, me trying to get out and review the uh, GoPro Hero 7 I've been to quite a few different things with it so I think I've got enough footage I just need to work out a way of how I show it um, I've also got a mechanical uh, slider which is the newer slider um, so I want to do a review on that as well um, if that's well, I say that's what I want to do hopefully someone will find it interesting um, going forward this channel I'm definitely still around um, again bear with me while I go through what I need to go through I guess and produce the stuff that I hopefully want to produce um, in positive news I've been out with my Pentax 67 I have a few roles that I need to develop um, so I need to order some ID11 because it's been that long that I think probably the ID11 that I've got is probably um, not going to be useful so I need to bin it and get some fresh stuff so yeah we'll order that um, I might actually send the film off and get that done at a lab um, even though it's been that long that <laughs> the shots will probably not be exposed but anyway yeah that's me this is where I've been um, sorry for those that have been watching the channel but also thank you to those that have been uh, commenting about where I've been and it's good to see me back on Instagram and stuff again hopefully I should start and get that back up and running um, been a bit lax but uh, yeah with me being ill and also doing the car channel um, I've been concentrating quite a bit on that so also um, I don't know if people are interested but I'm going to be doing some crossovers with both the channels so I was showing some footage that I filmed for the car channel and also I'll be putting some reviews on some of the kit on that car channel because it is car related I guess um, like with the GoPro we mount it on the car to get driving shots and things so yeah if you got to the end of this video sorry for me waffling on and thank you for watching Again, hopefully I'll try and get out this weekend and uh, get a video done on the GoPro. So, hope to see you soon. And if you have any thoughts, ideas or um, comments on um, how to deal with depression and deal with negative thoughts and things, then leave them in the comments that would be great I try and be a positive person but sometimes even myself find it really difficult um, but 
I have shelves full of cameras and also I have been gifted some more stuff so I have even more dark room equipment um, I have seven enlargers now <laughs> but anyway yeah so the channel is still here I'm still around I need to get back on the game with uh, printing I also want to start doing uh, platinum palladium printing and get some uh, back on the game with um, learning how to do wet plate photography that is something that I uh, desperately want to get on as well so as I say again thank you for watching hope to see you soon thank you